I'm going to talk about nesting if blocks inside each other. Let's suppose the user wants to know whether or not he's passed an exam. And let's suppose the pass mark depends on the subject. I've set up a simple if block with a number of else if clauses just to test the subject. And now, depending on the subject, we're going to perform another test to see whether they've passed. Let's suppose the pass mark for English is 50%. So if the subject is English, I'm now going to ask if the mark is greater than or equal to 50, then we passed. Otherwise, you failed. If the subject was science, let's suppose the pass mark was 60. So I'm going to borrow this code. And a similar test there. If the subject was computing, let's suppose we have a pass mark of 55. OK. So the first thing we do is test the subject. If the subject is English, you need 50% to pass. On the other hand, if the subject is science, you need 60% to pass. And finally, if the subject was computing, you need 55% to pass. Let's give it a go. Subject English. Let's suppose we scored 45. You failed. Try it one more time. Let's go for science. Let's suppose we've scored 61. Oh, thank goodness, we've passed science. So what we can see going on here is if blocks within an if block. In other words, this if block here has been nested inside this outer if block. The indentation isn't necessary to make the code run, but you can see now why it's important that we do indent the code so we can see that this if block is actually nested inside another. One way to really see what's going on when you've got nested if blocks is to step through the code. What I'm going to do is set a breakpoint here just by clicking on the bar. That means when I run this program, it will run at full speed until it hits this breakpoint, and then I can start stepping through it. Let's see what happens. F5, what subject? Computing. What was your score out of 100? Let's suppose we scored 70. Now my program has gone into break mode, and I can start stepping through with F8. As we've seen before, when I'm in break mode, I can hover over a variable to see what its contents are. I can see ST subject is computing. And now using F8, I can start stepping through. Notice how it's jumped straight past this part of the outer if block. It's bypassed the first nested if. Now we're about to execute this line. F8 again, and I can see it's bypassed the second nested if. When this line executes, it is computing, so we're now moving into the third nested if. My mark is 70, so we're going to get a friendly message to tell us we've passed computing. And then F8 to complete the program.